Another day, another story. Without a scientific explanation, the darkening of the sun, or moon, during an eclipse would be a startling event, to say the least. Throughout history, eclipses have been seen as a disruption of the natural order, and many groups have believed them to be bad omens. Many ancient, and not so ancient, peoples had spiritual explanations for solar and lunar eclipses to help them make sense of these seemingly inexplicable and random phenomena. Read on to learn some of these theories from around the world. Welcome to Tabo Eminent Channel. Chinese. In ancient China it was commonly held that solar eclipses occurred when a celestial dragon attacked and devoured the sun. Chinese eclipse records are some of the oldest in the world and go back more than 4,000 years, at least one simply states the sun has been eaten. To frighten away the dragon and save the sun, people would bang drums and make loud noises during an eclipse. Since the sun always returned after this ruckus making, it is easy to see how the tradition was perpetuated. Interestingly, it seems the ancient Chinese were not particularly bothered by lunar eclipses, and one text from about 90 BCE dismisses them as a common matter. In Chinese culture, eclipses were often seen as the result of a celestial dragon devouring the sun or moon. To scare away the dragon, people would make loud noises, bang drums, and shoot arrows into the sky. They also developed predictive calendars to anticipate eclipses. Indian. Ancient Hindu mythology provides a rather graphic and disturbing explanation for solar eclipses. According to legend, a cunning demon named Rahu sought to drink the nectar of the gods and thus attain immortality. Disguised as a woman, Rahu attempted to attend a banquet of the gods and was discovered by Vishnu. As punishment, the demon was promptly beheaded, and it is his decapitated head flying across the sky that darkens the sun during an eclipse. Some versions say that Rahu was actually able to steal a sip of the nectar but was beheaded before the elixir reached the rest of his body. His immortal head, in perpetual pursuit of the sun, sometimes catches and swallows it, but the sun quickly reappears, as Rahu has no throat. In Hindu mythology, eclipses were often associated with the demon Rahu, who was said to swallow the sun or moon. Rituals and prayers were performed during eclipses to protect against the negative influence of Rahu. Incan. The Inca of South America worshipped Inti, the all-powerful sun god. Inti was generally believed to be benevolent, but solar eclipses were understood to be a sign of his wrath and displeasure. Following an eclipse, spiritual leaders would attempt to divine the source of his anger and determine which sacrifices should be offered. Although the Inca rarely practiced human sacrifice, it is thought that an eclipse was occasionally deemed serious enough to do so. Fasting was also common, and the emperor would often withdraw from public duties during and following an eclipse. Different Native American tribes had their own interpretations of eclipses. For example, the Navajo believed that an eclipse was caused by a bear attacking the sun or moon. They would chant and pray to restore balance to the celestial bodies. Native American. According to Choctaw legend, a mischievous black squirrel gnawing on the sun is the cause of eclipses. Like the Chinese dragon, the squirrel must be frightened away by the clamor and yells of the event's human witnesses. Ojibwa and Cree peoples have a story that a boy, or sometimes dwarf, named Takabi sought revenge on the sun for burning him. Despite the protestations of his sister, he caught the sun in a snare, causing an eclipse. Various animals tried to release the sun from the trap, but only the lowly mouse could chew through the ropes and set the sun back on its path. West African. The Batamaliba are an ancient people of northern Togo and Benin. According to their legend, human anger and fighting spread to the sun and the moon, who began to fight with each other and caused an eclipse. The legendary first mothers, Puka Puka and Kuie Koke, urged the villagers to demonstrate peace to the sun and moon to convince them to stop their brawl. During an eclipse, the Tamaliba people make amends for old feuds and peacefully come together to encourage peace between the celestial bodies. The Fulani people, who are nomadic pastoralists spread across several West African countries, 
may have their own interpretations of eclipses rooted in their pastoral lifestyle and spiritual beliefs. Eclipses may be seen as auspicious times for rituals related to livestock or as events with broader significance for the community's well-being. Among the Igbo people, eclipses may be interpreted within the context of their rich mythology and spiritual traditions. Eclipses may be seen as times of heightened spiritual energy or as opportunities for purification and renewal. Rituals and ceremonies may be performed to harness the power of the eclipse for healing, protection, or other spiritual purposes. These interpretations of eclipses in West African cultures reflect the deep connection between celestial phenomena and spiritual beliefs, as well as the importance of ritual and symbolism in understanding the natural world. Egyptian Surprisingly, ancient Egyptians did not leave any explicit records detailing solar eclipses, though such an event would undoubtedly have been observed by these astronomy-savvy sun worshippers. Some scholars have suggested that perhaps eclipses were highly distressing and were deliberately left unrecorded so as to not endow the event with a degree of permanence or tempt the sun god Re, Ra. One Egyptologist has suggested that various references to an apparently metaphorical form of blindness align with historical eclipse dates and may be symbolic records of these events. Or perhaps papyrus records were simply lost to time. In ancient Egyptian culture, eclipses were sometimes interpreted as signs of divine displeasure or as battles between the gods. However, the Egyptians also had a fairly sophisticated understanding of celestial movements and may have been able to predict some eclipses. Ancient Egyptians believed in a pantheon of gods and goddesses who controlled various aspects of the natural world. Eclipses were sometimes interpreted as signs of conflict or disturbance among the gods. For example, the sun god Ra was often depicted as sailing across the sky in his solar boat. During a solar eclipse, it was believed that Ra was being threatened or attacked by a serpent or other malevolent force, leading to darkness. Rituals and prayers were performed to protect Ra and restore balance to the cosmos. Eclipses were seen as moments of cosmic significance, symbolizing the eternal struggle between light and darkness, order and chaos. The ancient Egyptians performed rituals and ceremonies during eclipses to ward off evil spirits and ensure the continued protection of the gods. Offerings were made to the deities, and priests conducted rituals to maintain cosmic harmony. The ancient Egyptians were skilled astronomers who closely observed the movements of celestial bodies. While they may not have fully understood the scientific causes of eclipses, they incorporated them into their astrological practices. Eclipses were seen as important omens that could foretell future events or influence the fortunes of individuals and the nation. Ancient Egyptian texts and inscriptions contain references to eclipses, indicating that they were observed and recorded by astronomers and scribes. The Egyptians developed calendars and astronomical charts to track the movements of the sun, moon, and stars, allowing them to predict eclipses with some accuracy. Thanks for watching request you to subscribe the channel.